My name is Pecos Pryor. I teach art here at Westmont College. I hold an MFA from the University of Nebraska in Lincoln, and I'm an alumni from Westmont. Today I get to talk about Martha Johnson's work. She was my printmaking professor, um, my final semester in college, and got me into printmaking. We've stayed close ever since. She wrote my letter of recommendation for my MFA and um, I'm thrilled to be talking about her work. When I first saw this image, I was struck by the blackened branches and the very few cracked leaves. Trees are typically green and brown. What's going on here? Black branches, highly contrasted to a complex background of browns, muddy yellows, and dirt reds. There is a slow reveal in the work. Upon further investigation, one begins to notice a dragonfly, a bug. Is that a wasp? Looks a bit strange and shriveled. There's another and another, not flying, not grounded, all different orientations. And then there's a feather. No, it's a wing. Why can I see the bones in this wing? Much of art is created by noticing your surroundings, paying attention to details, and learning to share these as an offering to the world to see something new or significant. The layers in this work help us notice more, help us see what is underneath our landscape. The title, Aftermath 2, tells me something happened to cause this. The blackened branches, maybe it's a fire. Martha was an instructor for Westmont College when the tea fire swept through campus burning several buildings, including college dorm rooms and 15 faculty homes. Martha's home and studio were in walking distance from the campus and were luckily spared. In talking about this work, Martha describes her walks to campus and periodically finding the leftovers from the fire, a bird's wing, dehydrated bugs, etc. She found a charred log and had it milled down flat. And after raising the grain, used it to print one of the many background layers of this piece. This is a wonderful way to embed history in the work, which grounds it in place and time. The insects and bird wings were drawn and etched into copper plates and printed in many layers with little contrast and light colored inks. This way they build on one another, creating a rich background for the strong, deeply etched tree branch to be printed on top of. Due to its many layers, printmaking is a perfect medium to give the viewer the sense of depth. Although a striking image depicting the aftermath of destruction, I am left with a feeling of hope and anticipation of what this fertile ground made with colors and layers of creatures will produce.